Stitches TV and today I'm going to show you how to make two fantastic tops out of one nighty. So this was top number one out of the nighty and now we're going to make top number two which is this top with puff sleeves which I wear all the time. I sometimes wear it on its own but I often wear it underneath like my Missoni tank top or underneath 1960s style dresses so that's what we're going to make today. So what we need, we need a vest top that fits us and we need some elastic. I've got kind of half centimetre elastic here, you can have it wider if you want and then we need that remaining part of the nightdress. So I'm just going to chop off all the gathering. I don't need to unpick it because it will take too long. So I'm going to chop all of that off, just like that. So you need to, once you've chopped off the gathered part, you need to lay it out flat. And I've got the side seams of the nightdress there. I'm going to fold it over, fold it over like that. So I folded it over, so that was the nightdress, folded over, I'm going to put a notch at the top and then I'm just going to straighten off this bottom bit here. Now you probably want to know how long this is, don't you? The length of this determines how puffed you're going to have your sleeves. If you want little puff sleeves, then you're going to make it shorter and you'll just have to decide how long that's going to be. I've lost my measure, there we are. You're going to decide how long that's going to be, but the measurement of mine is 40. That's allowing for 40 centimetres and it's allowing for um, seam allowances. When I do the puff sleeves, it is helpful to have something to work to, some sort of guide of an armhole shape or something. So when my partner when he's not looking, I go into his drawer <laughs> and I chop off the sleeves off his top, poor guy. He kind of likes cat sleeves anyway, so that's okay. So you end up with this when you do that, which is basically his sleeve. So what you've got to do is, we'll call this the hem of the puff sleeve. We put this close to the side seam, okay? Now, depending upon how far you are away from the edge will determine how gathered your puff sleeve is going to be. And I like mine really puffed. So I'm making my sleeve, it's going to be 23 centimeters away from the edge. Now, all you do is, starting at the top, you just cut along fairly sort of straight, and then you'll come to that shape of the sleeve head and you'll just follow it around and you'll just stop there at the side seam. Okay, and that's all that you need to do for the shape of the puffs. So then what we do, we open that out and you can see or not that, oh look at that. See look, you've got to make sure that your fabric's flat or you get into trouble with things like this. So chop that off, go away. Not very straight, but it doesn't matter because it's going to be gathered. So we just need to cut off the side seams that were on the nighty, so that we end up with two puff sleeves. It will make sense to you in a minute. So you go like that. And then I'm going to fold the right sides together. So fold that one right sides together. Means it goes like that. And then the other one, if that's to be right sides together, we've got to do it underneath. So we've got two puff sleeves now. The first thing you need to do is to stitch up the side seam and zigzag the edge. So I've stitched up the side seam, so these are the side seams of the puff sleeves and this is going to become gathered like that. This bit's going to be the hem, so we'll be making a little hem and putting elastic in there. So can you imagine that at all? Anyway, we're not there yet. So I've stitched up the seams and zigzagged and now we need to finish off all of these edges. So this is the hem. I want you to zigzag all the way around there. Do the same on the other side. And I want you to zigzag all the way around the sleeve head too. Now I've used a nighty for this tutorial, but the only reason why I use the nighty to do these puff sleeves is because I really like the material. You could use any material, beautiful old sheets, it's up to you. Now what we're going to do now is, we're going to take it to the iron, because I need to do a hem here, 
which is where I'm going to put my elastic through. So make sure your hem is wide enough to accommodate your elastic. So if you get wider elastic, then you need to do a bigger hem. So I'm going to press it first on the same on the iron like this because it's easy to sew if you press your seams first. So remember, whenever I sew hems like this, I do not sew them that way round, I sew it that way round. In this situation, we can see it, but if you couldn't, you just feel your way along. And really, it works so much better. You do not need pins. It just, it doesn't twist around so much. So I'm gonna take it to the sewing machine and just sew. Now when you do this hem, Remember, don't go all the way to the end because you need to leave, depending upon the width of your elastic, you need to leave about that much of a gap underneath the arm so that you can thread the elastic through with a safety pin. The beauty of this tutorial is once you've made one set of puff sleeves, you can, you can just keep going and just imagine all the possibilities. In fact, on my website, there's a really good one where I take three Topshop vest tops and I turn it into one vest top with matching puff sleeves. So it's made out of the same fabric, so it just looks like you bought the top like that. And I think they cost something like 12 pounds altogether. So I stitched the hem and it was nice and easy because I pressed it first and I sewed it the opposite way round you would expect. Now, you get some elastic, much more than you actually need because it's easier to manage it then. You stick your safety pin in and out like that as if it's a needle because sometimes it can pull the elastic through and then close it off find your hole that you left which is here for me now i would recommend going in on the seam side first because sometimes it can be a bit tricky getting past the seams so once you've got it out of the way it's nice and easy and then just keep pushing it through like that pull push pull do it all the way round now, I, I've been doing puff sleeve for ages in all, all different ways because I just modify them to, to suit the fashion of the time. But you know what? I've just realised that Karl Lagerfeld, in his Chanel collection for 2012, look, have a look. See? He's been doing puff sleeves as well. He's copying me. Now, as we come to the end, you've got to make sure that these don't twist, okay? Am I twisting? No. So you make sure that they don't twist and you've got to sort of pull them both so they're equally all gathered. Come here, you. Now, this is a tricky bit. You've got to stick your arm in because you want to know how big to do it, don't you? So if you stick your arm in and position it where it's going to be, I know it's not going to be this way round, I think that that's probably about right. So then I hold that with my fingers and I just know I'm going to have to sew up and down about there. So I'm going to do that on the sewing machine now. And then you just pull it through and sort of feed it around into your channel. And then you need to close that hole off. So I'm just going to do a little stitch just to close that hole off. When you're closing that hole off, be really careful not to stitch on top of your elastic. Because if you do that, then it can't stretch, can it? So do you want to have a look at what we've got so far? If I trim off all those threads, look. Oh, now you can see how it's going to be, can't you? That is lovely, isn't it? Now all we have to do now is we've just got to gather the sleeve head now. So we're going to start about that far away from the, the seam at the side, side seam. I'm going to start there and we're going to go all the way round using our largest stitch to create a gather. Oh, the amount of times I forget to put it back. Don't forget to put it back to straight stitch after zigzag. <clears throat> Otherwise, you just have to unpick it. So I've come to the end, don't forget, you mustn't go backwards and forwards at the end and at the beginning, because if you do that, then you're just not going to be able to gather, are you? Right, now we're gathering. I'm pulling one thread, not both threads, one thread. So I'm gonna gather it roughly like that, up to that notch, which signifies the center top, where it goes to the shoulder. And then I'm going to start doing it on the other side as well. 
So this is what we've got. Now do you see, I haven't, I didn't start, I didn't start the uh, gather stitch under the armhole. I started it a little bit of way up because we don't really gather around the armhole. We want it all to be up here so it really puffs out. So get your vest, okay. Now we want to see how, how big this needs to be. So how much do we need to gather it? I know where my center, she says, <laughs> I know where my centre notch is that signifies the top of the shoulder and then I know it's got to go around there. Now look, this is really important. When we're stitching it on, okay, the way that it goes is it goes underneath, all right? It's not going to go on top or it's not going to be like that. It's going underneath. Can you see that? And we're going to do a zigzag along there. Now so long as you start in the armpit, and then make sure that your center notch stops up there, then you'll be all right. And you need to just stretch this a little bit as you go, but not too much. Okay, so I need to get inside the vest top to reach that point. So I'm just gonna take this off. Most of you will have it so that you can take off the, the plate of your machine to get to an arm's width. But if you don't, don't worry, because this is a big hole. So I'm going to get my t-shirt in there so I can actually get to that point under the armhole. So everything can be all nice and flat under there. Where are you? There you are. So I'm just matching, matching that up. The side seam of the vest top with the side seam armpit of the sleeve. Very important now, very important. Zigzag, you have to do zigzag because there has to be a little bit of room of stretch in there. So I'm putting it to my, so am I putting it to biggest? Yeah, biggest-ish zigzag and about number three for stitch size. Now, it's a little bit tricky at first, but you'll be all right so long as you know where that centre shoulder bit is at the top because that's where you're going to finish. So let's see, let's start. Off we go, zigzag, off we go, stretching just a little bit on the vest top. Now, as you go along, if you find that you've got too much of the, um, the sleeve to fit in the hole, do you know what? All you've got to do, you just sort of, scrunch it up a little bit more and make it fit okay so don't worry about it so that wasn't too bad was it look so we've done one we've done one puff sleeve so you just do exactly the same on the other side it's really okay isn't it so i've done the other side can you see how fantastic they look so look this is what i was talking about when you stretch it sometimes you need to press it back again can you see that and i'm going to show you inside i wouldn't ordinarily ordinarily show my insides to people but i'm going to show them to you because you need to know okay so look so do you see so we've got all of that inside but it's fine when it's pressed it looks all neat and do you know what no one ever sees the inside so we're going to give it a good old press now do you like my puff sleeves so these are there